Civil War reenactor Carl Klink eagerly suffers torturous hikes, delightedly endures inadequate rations, and gleefully subjects himself to unsanitary conditions. Yes, it's his dream vacation. Ultimately wrecked by a tick on his tool. Eventually, I did. I did kind of go to my brother and say, "Hey, uh, hey Heath, um, you know, I got a problem, dude. What? I got a tick on my." <laughs> It ain't funny, man. It ain't funny. <laughs> this is a very delicate situation we're in right now. Well, Carl, that's your problem. You know, that's not my. I'm not touching that. Now, I didn't go up and tell everybody. I didn't say, hey, guys, I got a tick on my d I just kind of kept it to myself. So, of course, I got to go around and tell everybody, Carl's got a tick on his d <laughs> I'm in a world of trouble, and you're laughing at me. <laughs> tell them about the one you had right on your you know where. My what? Yeah, right on the other end, the back end. 150 years after the Battle of Wilson's Creek, the bloodshed continues. This time, between Carl's legs. That night, Carl summoned up the courage for a full frontal assault. I went into my tent, and I thought, well, what can I do? There's different remedies to remove a tick, and I've never found any that work. I said, did you, you know, try to heat up anything and, you know, touch it? I'm not about to add heat that close to the end of my member. It's just not what you want to do. That's, that's a nasty dilemma. But I didn't want to rip it out because if the head broke off, now you've got a chance to get an infection. And I guarantee you, no guy wants to get an infection in that part of his body. So I just said, I'm going to leave it be and see where it goes. The next morning, Carl decided to tackle the giant tick that's been sucking his blood for the past three days. We're breaking camp and everybody's saying their goodbyes. All that's going through my mind is getting to a hotel and taking care of my problem. We went to the hotel. I go straight in. I didn't even stop. I decided to just grab and yank and pulled him right off. And luckily for me, the head was still attached. Into the toilet he went with a mighty flush. I sent him on down the river. Carl gives him a military send-off, a burial at sea. Carl comes out of there, and he's just all, it's gone. <laughs> I'm Carl Clink, and a tick my vacation. No!